Because Siri has Wolfram Alpha built into it, you can do some really cool stuff if you know how to ask. I'll show you what I mean. For instance, if I activate Siri, I say, Wolfram Alpha, star chart. Let me think. Okay, here you go. And that is a star chart from Wolfram Alpha of what's overhead me right now. It gives Wolfram Alpha my location data so it can calculate it to where I'm at. If you want to be specific, you can say your city or whatever. Say star chart and the name of your city, and it'll do it. Or another city. Now, here's another cool thing you can do. Because, again, it's a computational engine. It's getting this information in real time and it's figuring it out. If I say, Wolfram Alpha, International Space Station. Let me think. Okay, here you go. And that is the actual location of the International Space Station right now. It's not a search engine thing where it goes to see the most popular result because it's a changing thing. Instead, it computes it based upon the velocity and whatever else data you need to know to figure out where it is. And it tells you in real time where it is, so maybe if you want to look for it. And so you can actually use Wolfram Alpha to find where planets and stars are too. And here's another cool thing. Wolfram Alpha, Solar Eclipse. Checking on that for you. Okay, and here you go. That is the eclipse path for the next eclipse. So you can see that red line there and it computes that for you. So there's some cool things you can do. What you need to do first though is say Wolfram Alpha and then the thing that you're trying to find out, which is a great tool if you're into space.